I'm just about to go out the door. Let's pack that in my bag. Um, I have to start at quarter past seven. I only live ten minutes away from the hospital. So, let me turn that over. Um, so these are all the things that I keep on me, on my, as in on my pocket, in my pockets, and on me. Uh, apart from the watch, because I'm not allowed that, which is why I have my fob watch. But these are all the things that I keep in my pockets that I showed on my clinical bag, what's on my clinical bag video. So I'm going to pack them on myself now, get my jacket on and head out the door. I need to pack my lunch in my bag really quick. And my face looks really sore because I've just washed it. Um, put my lunch in my bag, pour my coffee out and head out the door because I don't want to be late. I will catch up with you throughout the day. <laughs> Okay, so I've just got to the hospital now. It is 10 past seven. So I'm gonna head inside because I know we have a huddle at quarter past seven. When I finish, I'll come back out and have a little chat with you. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to film throughout the day because I just know it's gonna be super, super go, go, go all day. That is pretty much it for my morning routine. So I tend to get up about six o'clock if I'm having to leave around seven-ish. I get up, I have a shower, get ready, let the dog out for the toilet. Lee or myself will take the dog out for a little quick walk around the field at the back of our house. I'm quite lucky with childcare as far as that goes because India stays at my mum's when I'm on placement so I don't have to deal with India or take her to school on them mornings. Well, apart from when I was doing nights because obviously I was getting in in enough time in the morning to be able to take her to school while Lee was with her. I'm gonna head in now, I'm super excited. I will talk to you when I finish. I'm super, super excited. So I'll check back in later when I probably be pitch black by then because I am working till quarter to nine tonight. So at quarter past seven in the morning till quarter to nine at night. So it is a very, very long day, but I will check in later. Okay, 
what a day it was nuts obviously i can't discuss patient information but for a little rundown on the day in the ed i know i did a little video the other week on what i did in the ed but here's a little quick update so the day shift start from quarter past seven in the morning all the way through till quarter to nine at night which is what time it is now so yeah it's a 13 and a half hour shift and very very full on go 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 so the area i was in in the ed was a respiratory area not just dealing with respiratory patients but the majority of patients who are expected to have covid or have covid will go in that area that's better so basically there's been a huge spike in covid again obviously because everyone is now out and they are mixing a lot of people it was consistently in the hundreds of people coming in and the majority of them were all covid related somehow whether it was that they knew they had covid or covid related symptoms it's been go 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 uh, i've been taking loads of bloods i have been doing catheters i have been doing ecgs i was there on a standby so where the red phone goes off and people get brought in in a super emergency uh it's just not stopped and i am super tired but i do know this was a morning routine video so i'm not going to sit on it and just keep going on about this because that's not part of the video but i did say i would update you so that is my day in the ed and i'm gonna go home now and chill i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe and i will see you in the next one